Hello, how are you? Welcome to Blendisar. In previous tutorials, I have shown various ways in which we can work with curves in geometry nodes. Here's another example of what can be done with curves. It's a flexible light bulb formed by groups of nodes. There are several options and with animation, we can see how the shape changes. The height option increases or decreases the height of the spiral. If we activate height base, it only changes the height between the base and the start of the spiral. Furthermore, if height base is active, using linearize makes the spiral straight. By using height full, we increase the overall height of the tube, including the space between each spiral turn. The twist option allows us to shape or remove the spiral shape. The radius shape option modifies the radius of the shape. I will enable the wireframe to see the mesh. I created another group of nodes to complete the light bulb. Although these options could have been added to the other group, I separated them. With the Radius Thickness option, we control the tube's thickness. Resolution Length sets the resolution along the curve. Resolution Circle modifies the resolution of the circle that defines the tube's shape. Subdivision allows us to subdivide the tube's shape. We can play with these options to control the geometry density. Name to UV is used in case we need to modify the material to make it non-uniform. The name we enter here should be used in an attribute node in the shader editor. Here we select the material for the tube. And here we select the collection with the objects that form the base. These can be modified or other pieces can be modeled. As I mentioned before, I could have included all these options in a single group of nodes. But they are separate because I added another node group. Flex Bulb Shape. These groups can be connected based on the name of each input or output. As the animation progresses, we would see this. If we further advance the animation, the shape disappears. This is because I haven't selected another object here, which should be a curve. I'm including letters from A to Z, a circle and a heart. By selecting the circle and advancing the animation, we will see how a circle is formed. Now, I will select a letter. And now it transforms into the letter. I will try with other letters. I did it this way because we can move these groups and make room to add more flex bulb shape groups and connect them to the previous ones. So we can select curves. As the animation progresses, we will see the transformation between each one. The pause before option causes a pause before starting the curve defined in this group, affecting the duration of the previous shape. If set to zero, it starts changing to the letter shape before straightening the spiral. If we use 0.5, we will see that it continues changing earlier. With a value of 2, the shape remains for a little longer. With a value of 1, as soon as the previous animation ends, the curve in this group starts. If I set the second group to 0, it changes from the spiral curve to the curve in this group without going through the previous one, which would be the letter A. 
With a value of 0.5, the A starts forming but doesn't finish and continues with the B. With a value of 1, as soon as the A ends, the B starts. This is the way we can use these nodes that I have created. Now I will show another example that I have prepared. Here I have connected several flex bulb shaped groups. The first one with a circle and the following ones with letters forming the word love. And finally a heart. The curves in this list are in the Curves Forms collection. This animation would do the following. As the animation progresses, it changes between each curve. Now I will activate the Material view. The material I have applied is a mix to switch between when the bulb is turned on and when it is turned off. If I change this value from 0 to 1, then the bulb lights up. I use this wrap node because starting with a negative number and progressing to a positive number gives the effect of turning on and off which can create an interesting animation. Now I will show other examples that I have prepared. In this example I have placed a letter in each bulb and I have converted each letter into an instance to place them in an instance on points node. I'm using an arc curve where each of the instances is being distributed and I can modify the shape of the curve. Here I can change the rotation. For these values, I could add keyframes by pressing the I key to create an animation. With a join geometry node, I connected the bulbs in order and converted them into instances with the geometry to instance node. In the instance on points node, we must activate pick instance to place an instance at each point and they must be in order. With these subtract nodes I am controlling the animation offset between each bulb although some are currently set to zero. With the scene time node the animation occurs when the timeline is played. With this multiplication we can control the speed. We could also add keyframes by pressing the I key. I will delete it. We can modify these subtractions to control the timing of each animation. In this collection, I added some lights. The tubes are not well defined, so I will add a subdivision. Here are some other examples. This one forms the word Blender. I have inverted the arc curve. The animation would look like this. This other example is with the channel name Blendisar. And this example is with the word love, but unlike what I showed before, here each letter and the heart are separate and have a different color. I am not including the heart with the instances. I am joining it at the end with join geometry and I'm controlling the position with the transform node. 
It depends on each person's creativity to create an animation with these options. As I mentioned with these subtractions, I can control when each animation occurs. These node groups with these examples are available through Gumroad and Blender Market. The link is in the description of this video. I will conclude the tutorial about these node groups here. I invite you to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. If you have the possibility to support me by donating through PayPal or purchasing any of the products on Gumroad or Blender Market, I would greatly appreciate it. The links are in the description of this video. Your support will help me continue creating content. Greetings, and I'll see you next time on Blendisar.